Jim, we've received several questions asking about your thoughts on 2021 as we have wrapped up the year. If you don't mind, I'm going to ask you a few of these for everyone, because like I said, several have sent them in, and some people have some of these, and other people have other ones, so I'm going to combine a few here. Jim, when you look at 2021, who's the wrestler of the year in your eyes? Wow. Um, there, I mean, we could sit here and, and debate for hours over a few names, but Punk made a tremendous difference for AEW, so has Danielson. MJF has done incredible work, but Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar are still at the top of the biggest promotion in the world, and and it, as soon as they actually ever wrestle, are probably going to draw a ton of money and whatever that is quantified by and measured by these days, tickets or revenue or fucking S and H green stamps. Um. Who did I not cover? Well, someone who you wouldn't pick anyway, but obviously you didn't mention Kenny Omega, uh, a few other well, people. What, what, but, what did he do this year except more of the shit he's been doing previous year? But what are you, are you saying that CM Punk is your pick or are you saying that it would be any number of those no, guys? No, I'm, I'm saying Punk and Danielson have to be the MVPs, no pun intended to MVP, but have to be the most valuable players for AEW because they have moved their ratings and or statistics and also in Danielson's case had the best match that AEW has presented in Punk's case legitimately did ratings until they watered him down Reigns and Brock are the two kings of the hill and the biggest game in town do you want someone who's done incredible work and is a can't miss star of the future that like I said, that could be MJF, but it also, I mean, if the rookie of the year can't be the the most valuable player of the year in the same year, but Brock yes, Breaker, they can. can they? Yeah, I mean, uh, in baseball, you could be a rookie of the year and MVP. You could be Cy Young and MVP. You could do both in the same year. Okay, well, nobody did, but um, Brock Breaker would be close, if, if just in terms of he's a can't miss guy with uh, the or Fred Lynn. best look, etc., that we've seen in quite some time. But who really has done anything to set the world on fire this year? To me, I think wrestler of the year is CM Punk. Even though he hasn't had big main event matches for titles or anything, the story of the year was CM Punk. There's no, in my eyes, and again, I don't have anything in front of me. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I don't think there's any other wrestler that had the impact as a singular figure in wrestling like CM Punk did this year. No. Not to take away anything from Danielson. But if we're talking about 2021, who had the biggest impact, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. And his matches were good. It wasn't like there was anything with Punk like, ah, this kind of sucks. I think CM Punk has a pretty good argument for wrestler of the year for WWE. It's got to be Roman Reigns, I would think, right? Well, Roman's been there more, or is it Brock? Because he's just the guy that shows up every so often and immediately everybody's interested. Well, here's a tougher one. Is there anyone you would pick for tag team of the year? None of the above. <laughs> it's a rough year. No, actually, in, in all honesty, um, I haven't seen that much of the Briscoes except, you know, the, the Briscoes chicken farm match amongst themselves and some of the promos and the angle with FTR. I would say FTR in a heartbeat is tag team of the year because they're the best team. But since they're basically being punished for being the best team in the world by going to the company where everybody gets to show what they can do except them. Uh, and they're constantly saddled with having to work with luchadors and, you know, buried, uh, they're the, the buried in plain sight. I can't say FTR. And you know that FTR and the Briscoes would be the best tag team match or rivalry or program that we've seen in, however long, but apparently we're not going to get that because the Lucha brothers need their 752nd win over FTR. So tag teams, eh, you know, eh. Favorite match off the top of your head? Um, In 2021, now chronologically, Valter and Elia 2 happened in 2021. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So... 
you can't really compare Paige and Danielson and Valter and Elia because it's two different kinds of food, but it's not even in the same category. They're not both vegetables, not both meats or proteins, whatever. But um, can you pick one or the other of those? I don't see how. I think my top three would probably be Walter Ilya, now that you mentioned it's this year. Paige and Danielson was was uh, incredible. And I really liked, and it's kind of a dark horse, MJF and Darby when they opened the show and they had that really oh, hot yeah. match that no one else that night could compete yeah. with. I thought that was great. Underrated yeah. match. That would, and I mean, if we had a list of, I'm sure I've raved about another match or two, probably not more than that. But uh, those would be my, I mean, <laughs> If the people have not heard me rave about a match this past year, uh, that probably means it wasn't rave-worthy, because I've raved about, what, five or six of them? Hey, one last one of these, because we can't go through everything, because at some point, you know, promotion of the year, what are we going based off? Yeah. But for Rookie of the Year, it's a tough thing to do, because what really constitutes a rookie in this era of AEW and WWE and independence, but for someone that you first saw on national TV this year, is there anyone, again, it's not necessarily Rookie of the Year, but um, I don't know, most potential of the year? You're looking forward to next year? I don't know how you want to phrase it or look at it, but is there a wrestler that you first were exposed to in 2021 that you're really looking forward to seeing evolve? Well, yes, and sometimes the Rookie of the Year would have been in the independence for five years and nobody knew it, and then they become the Rookie of the Year. But in this case, Braun Breaker really is a rookie. Hook really is a rookie. Um, I think you have to give the nod to Breaker over Hook just because of the size and the look and the the whole package. And more and, matches, you know, actually. And, well, yeah, he's at, what, is it like six to two now or whatever? But, <laughs> yeah. but also Austin Theory uh, first saw him in the last year and was amazed at, at how he got the little things. And then, of course... Vince has hitched his trolley to that, and but, but yeah, hopefully uh, Austin Theory's young enough that he'll get away from Vince, but not be you know uh, excommunicated from Vince's company. Yeah. That what was the the young man's name? He was a Samoan or of some Samoan lineage on NXT before we stopped watching it when they changed everything around and I said wow that guy came out of nowhere and he looks good I don't Can't remember his but, name now but you know what Odyssey Jones was another one that you Odyssey Jones about. um he really is a rookie also uh didn't have any matches in front of people this year obviously he's he doesn't have the package of a Braun Breaker and because of his size he's always going to be an attraction baby face rather than probably the guy you really want to build around. Um, but he's in the, in the conversation at least last time. Of course, where is he now? Do they even put him on NXT anymore? I haven't even seen his name written down lately. That's a good point. Powerhouse Hobbs. Yeah. Except he was wrestling in 2020. He I just, believe so. Yeah. He just didn't he didn't get with the program and they didn't start well, I was about to say they didn't start using him till twenty then they started using him in twenty twenty one and then quit using him in twenty twenty one and now he's his picture's on a milk carton. So I you know, I don't know where Powerhouse Hobbs is. As I said a couple weeks ago, somebody unplugged him. The correct answer? Hit row. <laughs> Whatever happened to them? But, <laughs> yeah, all right. they, they, don't, they don't be too fab anymore. 